Hey guys, I'm Brian from Saber Dynamics and today I'm finally doing a video on some CNC stuff. So I've really been wanting to do a video uh, on some CNCing and on the on Saber Dynamics itself for quite a while now. Um, some of you might already know my Creo Avenger YouTube channel where I used to do some electric mountain board riding videos. But because of my day job and the work for Saber Dynamics, I really haven't had much time to make content for that. But I still enjoy sharing content, so I figured uh, I'd share some CNC stuff. So behind me, uh, I have my CNC mill. This is a D DIY CNC mill that I've built over two years. Um, I finished it kind of in this state a year ago. And since then, I've really been learning uh, to make uh, parts and to up my uh, production scale. Um, it's been a pretty steep learning curve and I'm still learning a lot. But it's been a, a fun journey and I would like to share a little bit on that. Before we get started with some CNCing, uh, I would like to give a little introduction to Sabre Dynamics for the guys who really don't know about it yet. Um, so yeah, let's show you what we do. So this is my electric mountain board and this is pretty much what it's all about. I'm making parts for uh, electric skateboards. So the aim is to make, uh, yeah, to make some awesome parts to fit onto um, and to use in uh, electric skateboard builds. So over here, I have one of my first production parts. I've made these uh, about two months ago. And these are also anodized and these are um, plates that can fit uh, GoPro accessories. So you can uh, click on pretty much any GoPro compatible accessories onto your board. Um, other than that, we also make custom parts for um, cus mostly customers in the community and they, they need a, a certain part and uh, we CNC it for them. So I can show you some of these parts. Over here we have a collection of parts that I've been making over the past few weeks. There's also some custom stuff in here. We've got uh, anti-sync plates. These are already on the website. We also got a, a custom anti-sync plate here. This was uh, a customer request. Uh, he sent me the, some inspiration and I, uh, I made a CAD model and then CNC'd it. Um, these are light mounts. These are going onto uh, matrix trucks and then you can attach um, some lights to your trucks. Then we got some heat sinks. These are heat sinks for um, the Space Cat Atelier. You should check them out on Instagram at Space Cat Atelier. Um, I can put a link down uh, in the video description. So these are custom heat sinks that they requested. Uh, these are stock heat sinks and they will fit uh, a variety of uh, ESCs. And then we also have some custom size um, wheel pulleys. And over here we have uh, my um, GoPro uh, plates. So here's, here you can see them in the packaging. Did a fairly large production run on these and also got them anodized. Um, and then furthermore, over here we have something interesting. These are Matrix 2 bell drive motor mounts. So, and this is what I want to focus on in this video. So this is one of the first prototypes. I've already had prototypes made which have been tested over the past few months. Um, and I'm now at a stage where I uh, want to make a production run of these. But to make a production run, we need a, um, a fixture. We need something to mount the material to in our CNC mill so that we can make multiple of these plates and mounts at the same time. So that's what I want to look uh, into. So we got the mount here. So you can see the mount is it exists out of two pieces. It's the, the clamp and the actual motor mount plate. Um, these are now bolted together and through a clamping bolt right here you can uh, tighten the whole assembly onto your truck with just one full turn and after that it's rock solid. In the new version I've also added a set screw here for some extra stability um, just in case. But for now, this is the pretty much the final prototype. 
that uh, will go into production. So I'll just undo these bolts. Eventually these will be lock nuts, by the way. So it won't vibrate loose. We will also be making them um, for the new Matrix 3 trucks that are coming out um, later this year. Um, anyway, so we have the, the motor mount plate that will go onto the fixture plate like this, and we have a clamp. Out of this piece of aluminum, this plate, we will be making the production fixture to fit two motor mounts and two uh, clamps on there. So I've got my Fusion 360 uh, cam model here. So I drew this up in CAD and as you can see we have two motor plates and two clamps that will be positioned on the aluminum plate. And this will allow us to machine one full set, so one set for one mountain board uh, at once. To mount this to the CNC I already drew up the CNC table under this with all the holes. We need to connect the aluminum plate to the, the CNC plate, the CNC mill plate. And we need to make um, some holes to connect the motor mount plates to uh, the fixture plate. The first operation that we will be doing on the mill will be making the mounting holes. So as you can see here, we got multiple operations. And at the end of it, we will have these holes uh, to put in screws um, that will bolt into the CNC mill table. So this is operation one. And then for the second operation, we will be making the holes that will fit the, um, the belt drives. And we will be making this pocket right here, which we will use later on to, um, to zero our um, CNC program on. So this we will use this to set our origin, which will in the future be used to locate the plate and to uh, run the production. So now we've got our aluminum slab, our aluminum plate that will become our fixture. And now we are going to mount it into our CNC mill. So here we got the bed of the CNC. Um, we've got all of these holes to mount these vices to. And these are modular vices based on the Saunders Machine Works uh, mod vices. Um, but these are actually um, based on that and they are made by Matt Labs. Uh, shout out to him because he also does some e-skate parts and e-skate work. And he's been an awesome guy, he's taught me a lot. Uh, he's really been an inspiration and really thank you to him. Um, anyway, so um, this plate is really nice because you can position these modular vices wherever you want. So when I want to hold a slab like that, I don't need any toe clamps uh, on the sides to hold it down. Um, I can just use these um, vices and I don't really I don't need a vise that can open super wide either. I can just position this vise out, outwards, bolt it down, and then I can hold it. Now I don't want to bolt this plate down too tight because otherwise it might bow, because it's a pretty long plate. And if you put too much force on it from the sides, it might bow up a little bit. And so I have to keep that in mind. Um, but now, yeah, I will bolt everything in place and then we can um, start probing and start machining. Here we got the CNC control on this uh, notebook. And now uh, we're going to home the machine um, and then we're going to do uh, probing. We're going to probe in the plate so um, the control knows where the plate is in physical space. And after that we can run the program and cut uh, our holes.
So in Fusion 360, in the manufacturing page, we've told um, our program that the zero point is right there. So now in the machine, we're gonna have to tell where that zero point is. So we're gonna use the probe tip to find this point. So first we're gonna find the Z, zero, the Z height, so that is the, the top of this plate. So I'm just gonna probe somewhere in the middle. Now I'm gonna find this edge. So that's the, the, X, the, the X coordinate of the plate. So the Y coordinate, I, for that I actually put a mark on the plate because my CNC travel isn't large enough to reach uh, the tip, so to reach behind the plate. So I marked a mark there and now I'm going to try to uh, eyeball it to get it as close as possible. This doesn't really matter for um, the, the, the accuracy of the, the fixture, so um, I will just do it by eye now. So now that the um, probing is done, we can start the machining, we can load the first tool into the machine and uh, get going. Okay, so I cleaned off the table, took away the devices, and uh, I took some 10 millimeter precision pins and stuck them in the two board holes. And it seems to fit, so that's nice. So originally I was gonna use a reamer to ream these holes, um, but I put the reamer into a, a tool holder and then measured the, the run out at the tip, which means how concentric the tool spins. And to exaggerate what it was doing, it was very minuscule, very slightly turning like this, which means your hole is going to be bigger than if it was completely concentric with the spindle and it was just rotating um, spot on. So I measured the run out and this was not good enough so then I decided to use a short 10 millimeter end mill to just plunge down um, and this uh, this seems to uh, seems to work so um, uh, there's probably a few microns of um, tolerance um, but it seems to fit with the locating pins and as you can see I can just pull off the, the fixture like that it's a little bit hard with these long pins and then um, that's also how I can locate it. So the pin is actually still stuck, as you can see. So um, now I'm gonna bolt down the, the whole fixture. And once that is bolted down, we can um, machine the other features.
Now that it's bolted down, we can uh, probe this hole and run the second operation to finish the fixture. The probe is in, let's probe this hole. So we're gonna position it approximately in the center. So now it has found the, the center of this hole and we will use this for the, um, as the origin for our next operation. So now I, I only have to uh, zero the Z height and then we're good to go. So, the second operation is done. Um, as you can see, I engraved the fixture plate. So in the future, if I would have multiple fixture plates, I can distinguish them from one another. Um, then furthermore, these holes still have to be tapped. So these will be M4 and these and these will be M5 holes. At the moment, these are blind holes because I couldn't drill all the way through the plate. Otherwise, I would drill into the fixture, um, I mean, the, the machine uh, bed. So these still have to be uh, drilled all the way through. I will do that probably by hand. And then I will also hand tap all the holes. So I will do this um, later on. But before we can continue with um, testing out the production fixture, we first have to prepare the stock. So I've got some stock right here that will be used for the motor mounts. So that this will be the motor mount, this will be the clamp, and it will go eventually something like that. But as you can see, we now we are not able to bolt it down to the fixture plate. So these pieces of stock have to be drilled and I have to make slots. Um, I can show you. So these slots have to be machined and these slots beforehand. And then after that we can uh, use bolts to bolt it down to the fixture plate and we can machine all the remaining features. Uh, same goes for the, the clamp. In uh, the next video I will be uh, doing, uh, I will be preparing the stock, uh, I will be making the slots and then we can put it on the uh, fixture plate to uh, test it out. And then later on, uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, this can become the production fixture. So eventually, once everything works, we should end up with something like this after machining uh, the stock. Uh, so we would have a pair of uh, motor mounts done every time we run uh, the program. 
so yeah that is that is pretty much it for this video uh, thanks a lot for watching if you have any comments or tips let me know down below um, as I said, soon I will be doing another video on continue this, continuing this belt drive uh, project. Uh, and in the future I will also do more videos on, um, on similar projects. And I'm also planning to do a video on the whole DIY CNC mill. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and bye.